Hi, today I would like to demonstrate to you some of the exciting features in Skyline Terra Explorer version 6.5 and how these powerful capabilities can be applied. We'll focus on two example scenarios, bike path planning and street race security management. The Skyline suite of interactive applications allows you to build, view, query, and analyze customized virtual 3D landscapes. The 3D view is created by fusing aerial and satellite photography, terrain elevation data, and other 3D and 2D information sources, including geospatial dataset layers. Here we have ski tracks around Chamonix, France. By clicking an icon, I can connect to the ski lift's live camera to view the current ski conditions. I can also load the lift's map of the valley in summer as an Adobe PDF document. On the Analysis tab, I select the Slope Analysis tool to create a slope map of the area. The terrain is colorized according to steepness while arrows indicate the direction of slope. A legend indicates the slope degree. I use the Contour Map tool to create a topographic map that represents differences in terrain elevation using contour colors and lines. The Measurement tool enables measurement of vertical, aerial, and horizontal distance as well as terrain area. Connecting to a municipal GIS database server, I can import the bicycle tracks and textual information. I use the Terrain Profile tool to build the track profile for the cyclist. The result displays the minimum and maximum elevation points, maximum positive or negative slope values, and specific point query results. The slope query tool makes it easy to access and visualize valuable slope data about any point in the 3D view, including maximum positive, maximum negative slope values. This Paris street race is notable for the scenic route through the heart of the city of Paris. A large crowd gathers to watch the thousands of participants. Terra Explorer supports various formats of GIS feature layers that can be loaded into the project, either from local files, such as shapefiles, or from server connections, such as Skyline SFS or OGC WFS servers. Once a layer is added, we can perform various editing tasks, including adding a new feature or deleting features, clipping, intersecting, merging, and exploding features, and of course, editing attribute information. Using the Duplicate Objects tool, I can place first aid stations every 1.3 kilometers along the route and then display buffer zones that represent the responsibility area of each station. As you can see, it's simple to see which part of the route is not covered by any of the stations. We can then easily find the best location for a new station to cover the unattended areas. Various imagery and elevation raster layer formats, either from local files or from server connections, can be loaded to the project to update the terrain. Once the imagery is loaded, the imagery comparison tool helps you detect changes that occur over time by comparing an earlier image of the location to a later image of the same location. After loading a polygonal rooftops layer with altitude data, Terra Explorer can convert it to a 3D polygonal layer with the building's true height. Here we see a detailed 3D model created using dedicated modeling software. Using the time slider, we can display changes over time in the skyline and use this information to make decisions regarding proposed construction plans. The point cloud model allows you to add a pre-processed point cloud model at any point in the 3D terrain. These models are created from a list of points in a 3D area that are collected by various 3D scanners. Skyline TerraBuilder Photo Mesh creates high resolution textured 3D mesh models from standard oblique and nadir 2D images. Photo Mesh's technology offers a significant reduction in cost and time compared to traditional modeling methods. 
The resulting 3D mesh is a photorealistic, consistent 3D model that can be loaded into Terra Explorer and then viewed, queried, and analyzed. Terra Explorer 6.5 features a new shadow mechanism that adds realism to a scene, displaying a shadow effect for the entire scene. Selecting a 3D mesh feature, I can view and update its attributes. Shadows can also be cast for selected objects in order to visualize the shadow effect of a particular object on the surrounding buildings and terrain. I want to determine which buildings should be secured during the race. For this, I use a spatial query to select all the buildings that are within 40 meters of the track. Once the buildings are selected, I can open the attribute table and query the database for information about the buildings, such as the building's height. Since the race will take place during the summer, I'm concerned about how sunny the track will be for the runners. Using the shadow query tool, I calculate the sun shadow ratio along the track over selected time span. Great, most of the track is shaded during race hours. A barricade around the entire race area is required in order to provide proper security for the participants. I use the fence and wall tool to help visualize where the barricade should be located. Connecting to the city surveillance CCTV system, I can locate a camera and project its video live in its geospatial context. The video on billboard tool allows me to display and monitor commercial videos across the city. Well, there goes the opening bell on this Wednesday morning. Joining us now from Chicago uh, is uh, at the CBOE is Michael Palmer with Group One Trading and also at the CME. Brian Projecting a 3D view shed on the 3D mesh layer, I can demonstrate the view from a specific security camera. It appears that a tree blocks the view. After removing the tree using the Modify Terrain tool, the 3D view shed is automatically updated. I then use the snapshot comparison tool to compare the view with and without the tree. I click compare and then use the slider control to compare the different versions of the area. After performing view shed analyses, we determined that there are a number of blind spots not covered by any of the security cameras. So we add two new cameras and perform two more view sheds. But with all the overlapping of multiple view sheds, it is difficult to determine precisely which areas are visible and which are hidden. The view shed query tool is particularly useful in this situation in analyzing the overall visibility for multiple security cameras for a designated area. The output of the analysis is exported to a point feature layer that graphically represents the visibility of the different points. Terra Explorer provides critical command and control capabilities during the race itself. Two minutes into the race, an emergency call is received for a suspicious object. 2D polyline layers have been converted to a 3D pipes network using the pipeline tool. I toggle on the underground mode to reveal the underground infrastructure. Flying below the terrain, it appears that the suspicious object is located above the gas pipes.
I use the line of sight analysis tool for a visual indication of whether the suspicious object can be seen from the security guard's positions. The look around tool serves as a virtual stationary observation deck, helping me analyze the view from a specific location. Calculating the view from a moving patrol vehicle using the dynamic 3D view shed, we can better understand the driver's field of view. Terra Explorer navigation aid tools provide a set of GPS and tracking tools. I click on the set target and mark the suspicious object. From this point on, the system is locked on the target and points an arrow in the direction of the point. The GPS tracking tool displays the current position and direction. When we want to navigate inside the building, we can activate the indoor navigation and collision detection modes. Hovering the mouse over the elevator, we get more information about its maintenance. Terra Explorer can be used in command and control systems, making it easy to manage an emergency evacuation and first responder dispatch so that you arrive safely at the finish line. <music>